forget. Okay, Zanya's time. Cause last time I wasn't sure. You got the tape rolling? What? Oh, it's not tape. Hello! My name is the professor. I paint pictures in the sky. And people love my art because it comes from the heart. And I am here today, back again. I know. Oh, God. Search your garages and basements to find all of the 108 materials that you will need. Don't worry, it's not more than that, just 108. And uh, let me tell you what they are. You'll need some glue that's liquid kind and a glue stick. Uh, you will need some newspaper, some pieces of wood, and some construction paper. And oh yeah, you cannot forget the bandsaw. You definitely are going to need that. Um, professor, what I is think... that little boy Come into the frame? We cannot see you. What do you want? I'm in the middle of giving my 108 things that we need for this project. Um, you should make it easier. That's way too much stuff. Easier? You want the easy art project? <laughs> Alright, let me try this again. I was told that that might be a little too hard, so we're going to cut it down to this one. It, it only take one month to complete, okay? Not 54 days, only one month, so get ready. Now you need to go search your house because we are going to need a box of crayons. That's not too hard. A box of crayons. We're going to need some tissue paper and a couple of spoons. Uh, some plastic spoons. Oh yeah, Get, uh, make sure you find some of those googly eye things. Those are really, really cool. I think that could be nice for the butterfly project. Um, and of course, we're going to need a big block of log and a chainsaw because this uh, could be really cool. What? No, you're back again. Why are you back, little boy? What? Yeah. What do you want now? I think a whole month is a little too much. Okay, let's try this one more time now. Okay, I am back again, my friends. And this time, I took a moment to try the project out on an actual child. <laughs> Hello art students, it is time for another art lesson. This is called op art because it involves an optical illusion. It looks like the star is popping out of nowhere. So what you're going to need is a pencil. That's the most important thing along with your piece of paper today. Um, I would also love it if you could find some crayons or and maybe even a marker, but pencil is the most important thing. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to find one of those. So I'm going to start in pencil and then switch over to my marker so you can see it a little bit better, but I want you to stick with pencil for now. So we're going to draw a star. And if you have trouble with that, go ahead and pause the video and rewind it and see how I did it. Now I'm outlining the outside of the star. Notice how I did not outline every single line, just the outside, and I'm about to erase the inside. Um, now, fifth graders, you've done this with me this year with the America Project with the flag that we made before we left school. Um, fourth grade, you have not done that with me. So pay attention, rewind if you need to. I'm putting a dot down in the corner of my paper now. So go ahead and put a little dot there. This is going to be our vanishing point where all of our lines are going to connect to that point. So watch closely where we're going to draw our lines from. You're going to need some sort of a straight edge. Um, I'm going to use the side of a piece of paper. 
So here are my vanishing, here are my points that I'm going to connect to my vanishing point right now. Notice it's not, it's not all five points of the star. It's some odd places. So pay close attention as I begin my first line here. I'm going to use a piece of paper to connect this first point right here to the vanishing point. And I'm going to draw a line. If it goes through the star, hop over the star and continue your line. If you have a ruler, that is even better. I just didn't have one on hand. Now here's my second point. It kind of already lines up, so I don't really need to draw my line again, but yours might look different. Here's my third point. I'm going to draw a line from that dot to my vanishing point. Here's my fourth point. There's going to be five altogether. Just my line always to that same vanishing point every single time. And here's my fifth point. I hope you're watching this first and then doing it on your own, maybe replaying it through, because I think that'll be helpful for you to see what's going to happen before you try to do it on your own. So now we're going to draw a few more lines to help it look three dimensional. We want it to look like it's popping out. We want this star to look like an optical illusion, tricking our eyes to make it look 3D. So we're going to draw some lines. Just trust me on this. So here's the first and second line. Notice how they mimic the lines of the star. We're going to draw those all the way down the section of the star. Again, if you have to pause or go back, that is okay to do. I'm pretty sure that if I were you, I would do that. Now we have two more little sections to work in here. So we're going to draw a line here and keep going with that same direction of that line. Even though this is a tiny little space I'm working in, I'm still going to continue those lines. And up top. We're going to draw just a few in this area as well. Now that is going to help our eyes see the different, different 3D areas. Okay, shading is the next important part. So if you're a fifth grader, you've practiced a little bit of shading this year. Fourth grade, this might be a little bit new. So right on that line, you're going to make it the darkest shade you can using your pencil. And then you're going to gradually get lighter and lighter as you work toward the outside of that area. So right on that line is the darkest and then it gets lighter and lighter. And you do that by the amount of pressure you are applying to your pencil. So you're pressing really, really hard in the middle and then you lighten it up, lighten it up, lighten it up, lighten it up. Now I'm getting a little bit in my star, but that's okay because I can erase that later. No big deal. So now we're gonna do the same on the bottom. The darkest in the middle, Press the hardest in the middle and then get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. And I'm going to need to go back and smooth it out a little bit. I'm going to erase the pencil marks that I have in my star. Okay, now I'm going to go do the same thing down here. It's a, it's a little bit harder to see. I'm um, where I need to make it dark, but right there is going to be my darkest. And I'm just going to go all the way along the bottom of that star, make it nice and dark. And then I'm going to lighten it up from there. So it looks like there's a shadow under there. So it really looks like that star is popping out. Let me get a little bit dark under there too. Like there's a shadow underneath. Now the same thing up top. We need to add a little shadow up there too. And then get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Yes. Notice how on the other, the left hand side of the star, there's nothing because we can't see behind there. We can only see the right side popping out right now. So we don't need to do any shading over on the left side of the star. 
Now it's time to add some color. If you don't have color, you can leave it black and white, just shaded with pencil, and it looks great that way. If you do, I'm going to color my star with yellow, and I'm going to color my background blue. You can choose whatever colors you want, and it'll look like a nice finished piece. Now don't forget to head over to Flipgrid, and in a video, show me your finished piece of art. Tell me what was hard about this because I know there's going to be some difficult things and what you think went well about your piece. What surprised you? What, what came out better than you thought it might? I can't wait to hear about it. Tell me your thoughts and enjoy making it.